me as one of my favorite spots. Pickers Barn, Shiloh Farms Arctiques. I have some history with a particular item here at the Pickers Barn. This is a hand side. When I bought my house in Quincy, I bought the lot next door. It was covered with grass six foot tall. I thought it would be no problem to just find somebody with a bush hog to cut down the grass. Seems that at the time, which was almost 40 years ago, there weren't that many people with bush hogs. So I ended up borrowing a hand scythe from my mother-in-law and cutting the whole acre off by hand. It was interesting, but I wouldn't recommend it as a life's work. Here we have a buck saw. You've seen these before. I sharpened one. And this one over here, now that's a He-Man buck saw. That's for somebody that's got a lot more ambition than I do. Here's another buck saw, and behind it is a one-man crosscut saw. Looks to be a four-foot blade. Both of these are priced $18. Three potato planters. Things out here aren't quite as fussy. There's a barn auger, and a plane, and a couple of sheep shears. Some Christmas lights if you'd like them. One, two, three, four, five saw horses. Half of a two-man crosscut saw with one handle, and then another two-man crosscut saw with both handles on it. And a nice bench piled up with rusty tools. A Raleigh sports bicycle, complete with light. And for the little one chasing along behind you, a tricycle. I've seen shutters like this in a house that was built in the 1830s. They were actually for the inside of the house they fold it against the inside frame of the window. That's a mechanics cart for crawling underneath the old get out and get under. So you can get an idea of the scale of the thing. This is a gas pump. You used to crank the gas up to the top globe, and then the gas would flow down into the tank. And the last item that I'll show you is a Kenmore sewing machine. Could use a little TLC, but it's only $50. Even comes with spools of thread and needles and some extra bobbins. Twyla has plans to turn her house into a bed and breakfast. It's a beautiful building. They're also taking They're also scheduling weddings and receptions here for this big barn. It's being renovated for use next summer. I 
and I, the resident artists here at Shiloh Farms Art Teaks, can paint one of these barn quilts specifically for you. 